Hey guys, what's going on? So uh, with the COVID virus going on, a lot of people have different schedules uh, than they've normally had. And I've been talking to a lot of clients and we've been talking about morning routines and the importance of it. And I thought it'd be interesting if I'd share what my current morning routine is. And I say current because it's always changing and my routine's not ideal for everybody, but here's a perspective of what I do every morning. I thought you'd like to see it, so check it out. So like I mentioned in the intro, uh, this is uh, a morning routine I'm always retooling it. It's, I'm always consistent with it, but always changes based on what projects I've got going on, what my current goal is, what I'm training for. Uh, so I'm always uh, changing it, but it's always there in some form. I make time and it's always a priority. So it might, like I said, look different for you, but this is what I currently am doing. So the first thing I always start out with is getting my mind and my spirit right. So this is uh, for me prayer, but for some people this could be a meditation or quiet time, you know, being thankful for things you're grateful for. But I just really find this is a great way just to start the day in the right mindset. Part of my morning routine is having some green tea every day. Uh, you know, it's, it's nothing fancy. It's just your basic green tea, but uh, some good health properties to it. Uh, I'll be honest, it's something that I had to uh, get a taste for. I didn't like it at first, but uh, it's grown on me. So I uh, <clears throat> have myself some hot green tea and uh, keep the morning going. So after I've got my green tea brewed and I'm drinking that, the next thing I do is reading. So there's some things that are always consistent, always the same, and some things that I change. You know, for me, uh, I'm always reading scripture and devotions, but I also read uh, books and articles about you know, nutrition and coaching and business development. And so uh, this could be a, a hard book, it could be a, a, a publication, it could be a, uh, a scientific journal. Um, it could be an audio book. If it's an audio book, you know, I'm focused, I've got my earbuds in, I'm listening, and I'm writing notes, so I make sure I catch things. But whatever it is, I'm always, again, expanding that, that starting that day with that, getting my mind going, and really helps me focus and sets the tone for the day. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna journal. So I start with going through the prior day, you know, what I was grateful for, what went well, what didn't go well, what I'm working on, you know, landmarks, things that I just review the prior day. Then I go and I journal and I plan this coming day. Oftentimes I'll do this the night before so I have an idea what I'm gonna get up and, and conquer. But I, in my journal, I write down, you know, the, the, the main tasks that I'm gonna accomplish. And then I also put them in my Google Calendar so they're right there. And then the last component of this is I have my little sticky card and I, uh, my sticky note and I'll write down the three to five things that I'm really focused on through the day. And I'll stick it on my computer and I'll cross them out as I go. I just, something about crossing off things off a list is just feels awesome. So that's how I get my day started so I make sure I've got an agenda and I'm working the plan. So the next thing I do is I do a routine in the morning to help get some, some blood flowing specifically in my shoulder and help stretch um, my, my upper body out. So uh, I take a band here and I've, I've got it you know, shut in the doorway here so I can do this anywhere. I can do this in the kitchen, uh, in any doorway. So I'm just gonna go through you know, some, basic, uh, some basic movements here. Again, I'm focusing on my shoulder, you know, and doing some things that are, I, I really feel in that joint to really help get the, get the body moving and get the blood flowing. Um, I'll go through a variety of things and it really, it only takes me about five minutes. And of course, I'll do this on, on both sides. And then the other thing I do is I'll do some stuff um, for, my, for my lower body as well. You know, do some things like, you know, some, some leg swings, you know, getting that leg up like that so I can loosen up the, the, the groin, the adductor. Uh, and then I'll do some stretching, you know, like some doorway stretches. Um, I'll do some uh, hurdler stretch, again, stretch out that groin. And the routine, it takes about five minutes and I do that right before I eat breakfast. So after I've done my uh, physical routine of getting my shoulders warmed up and my stretching, uh, I jump into breakfast, which uh, right now consists of oatmeal, so I've got my uh, bulk oatmeal here. I do uh, one cup of that, 
uh, I'm throwing in uh, 40 grams of uh, wild blueberries that are frozen and then uh, two tablespoons of peanut butter and then I throw in a, a scoop of whey protein so I obviously I cook the oatmeal and then I throw in the uh, the frozen berries and the peanut butter and the frozen berries kind of help cool off the oatmeal melts the peanut butter really a uh, little bit which is great and then I throw on the protein and mix it in I also throw some creatine in on that so that's my breakfast um, and then I have some coffee you know I'll either do the little uh, k-cup or if I'm feeling like uh, something special I'll have my uh, my French press and my uh, my dark coffee so uh, I sip on that uh, and uh, that's my breakfast okay so that's my morning routine you know if you're not already currently uh, doing a morning routine I mean okay we all have a morning but if you don't have a dedicated and purposeful routine I would highly recommend you do that it really sets the pace and sets you up for success for the rest of the day especially with the uh, uncertain times that we're in right now and most of us have different schedules than we have right now hey if you like this video please hit the like button share it with others uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already thank you for watching i hope this was informational if you have other questions or have questions about nutrition coaching training feel free to uh, hit me up in the comments below or send me a message on via email and until next time keep making everyday count mm -hmm.